Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim Classic. Back again to do another route in the UK. Uh, this time on one that I've not done anything on before. Uh, this time I'm going to be looking at, well, this route, uh, the Woodhead route, uh, which appears to go, and has confused me slightly, uh, from what used to be called uh, Manchester London Road, uh, and I believe after some of the Googles, uh, is now known as Manchester Piccadilly. Uh, so that's where we are in a, a, it's a train it's it's definitely a train uh, going from here via some places uh, to Sheffield uh, with some of the passenger things on because passengers and all that uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube and you're not confused already well, welcome because I am uh, this going out on the channel on the railway Wednesday uh, the same day of the week that I also stream it not the same content on the same day it's about a week behind at the moment um other content for me on the youtubes is currently something from omzi on a monday uh something from one of the other sims that i do on a friday uh, on a saturday oh look at that that's quite cool that was quite cool uh, on a saturday it's from train sim world content uh, soon to be Train Sim World 3. Uh, and I've got something new to look at that goes out on Random Sunday. Uh, there'll be some links in the doobly-doo below to where you can get this route uh, for Train Sim Classic to where you can watch me live on the Twitchy and join my Discord as well. Uh, so good evening to Don, CN and Daz. Uh, so yes, here, uh, first stop being... Have we got an inside view? No. Uh, first stop being Guide Bridge um, in uh, five miles. Uh, I haven't got any opening of windows, so let's uh, see if I release the brakes on this thing. Uh, okay. And then if I give it some powers. Oh, we're moving. Albeit slowly. Uh, I'm doing good, thank you. I do like the hornage, though. It's very quiet inside. I think it's going to be one of those where we're going to spend a lot of time outside. It is... Well, it's not bad inside. It is quite horny. It's, that's quite a... Okay, that's quite an expanse of track with just me on it. And no other trains. So yeah, hauling some of the uh, the passenger type things, carriages. I think they're known as words things. But yeah, the people, the people places. That's what they're called. They're the people places. And we got uh, the five of them. So 15 limit. Can it go up to a 30 limit? This is quite quite. Oh, what's it like inside? Let's have a look. We got we got some lights. There are lights. There's a, what the hell's this thing? Some some sort of bloody torture device. That's um, that's a uh, thing. Have we not got the windows? Are there the windows? We don't. We don't seem to have. There are no windows. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Manchester. I do like that though. That is that's that's quite that's quite nice. Are we going to get to do the speeding up thing? There is some oh god, gone the old semaphore type signally things. I, th th that one's quite happy, so we'll go because I don't know if that was my signal or that's that signal. I think that's that signal. Oh, what the hell moved them? Oh, it's this thing that pulls back. Look, what's that one do then? Regenerate, regen has the word. Regenerative, there's, there's definitely a word there. Hang on, the third time lucky. Uh, regenerative brake. Yeah, see, I got there. A bit like you get in a electricity car. That's definitely making a noise, isn't it? What do you get your finger caught between there and there? What if you're naked train driving? You could get all sorts of things caught between there and there. That could be dangerous. Oh yeah, we got steam coming the other way. Oh, okay. Didn't expect to see that. <laughs> So this must be 50s then? This is 1950s this thing came out? It's obviously early electricity uh, times. 
50s, 60s? I don't even know what it is. Is it class 26? Is that what it is? Looks quite cool. Yeah, I wasn't around when Steam was around. I'm not that flipping old. Uh, you, 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 well, you don't see me. You see... We could if I put my camera on. Oh, wow, that was some sparks. Oh, hang up. Right, we can do the acceleratoring now. I like the fact we're getting sparks from the overhead. Oh, wow, that is quite cool. Oh, I approve of that. Oh, I definitely do approve of that. Right, so we got uh, 3.7 miles to our first stop at Guide Bridge. Uh, stopping this could be interesting. I do really wish we had uh, the opening... What's that? That's Whippers. It would be nice if we had the opening window type thing. This is from 2012. Wow, blimey. It's cool, I like it already. I think it's a very long route uh, between Manchester and Sheffield. I like the fact that it was called Manchester London Road, though, and not... When did it change to Piccadilly, then? Can someone do the Googlings? When did the train station, or one of the train stations in Manchester, when did it change from London Road to Piccadilly? Because that could date this... Well, might not date this because it might have happened in the like the eighties or something. Route is set in the fifties. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, so steam was still on the main line up until the sixties, wasn't it? And no, I wasn't around for that either. Sixty mile route. That's not bad then. Right. So just slowing down a little tiny bit. Yeah, a few different scenarios for it as well. I just thought I'd do this one um, first because it uh, had some passenger carriages on it. But then uh, might do a, a freighty one after this, which I think is in the same thing. Well, it's a Class 37 that runs on this. Uh, but I don't have that, so I can't do that. Um, so I think it might be another route in the same um, the same thing. All right, so give it the um, the beanies again. Although we're now slowing down. But not release the... We are going slightly uphill. Uh, the brakes off. Yeah, brakes are off. What's that one? Locomotive brake. Yeah, that's definitely off. Yeah, I've got brake pressure here though. We're slowing down. Perhaps it's just because it's a bit of an incline. It is quite horny, though. I do like the sparking. Yeah. I'm liking this. When I come to stopping it, it could be uh, interesting. But at the moment, I'm liking it. I've right, got 35 coming up. And then uh, our first stop at Guide Bridge. And then straight into a 75. Although if the incline carries on, there's no way this thing's going to do 75. Oh, we're speeding up again now, though. Handily, now I've got to think about slowing down towards the station. Oh, yeah, I do like that horn. See, that's a proper, proper train horn, that is. That's properly horny. Yeah, it's, it's not rapid though, is it? I can see why it's a 55 minute scenario. They knew how to do horns back then. We could do the... No, I wasn't around then, wasn't I? They can do... <laughs> horns were better in the olden days.
They were. You got much more horn. Right, let's do the slowing down thing then, because we've got this 35 coming up. Maybe do it slowing down a bit more than that. I'm sorry, we've got a yellow. So we've got a mixture of... There was semaphore signalling back then. I suppose there is that. That's a green, not a yellow. Forget that. Oh, grab it. I'm speeding. There is some speeding going on. There's a lot of lot of speeding happening. Points are in a minus. Yay. Okay, this thing might not want to do the stopping thing. Okay, we, yeah, we, we're not stopping. We, we're not, we're not, there's, um, 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 Okay, okay, um, that, um, that was, um, that was a, a thing, it, it's, it's just tipping, and just nothing to see there, we're just backing up slightly, don't worry about this. It's told me to go on to the next place, but I'm not going to, I'm, I'm backing up, I've got to break really, really early with this now then. I'm, no, I'm going back. I am opening doors. So I'm going to do it. People want to get off at this place. So they will have the ability to get off. No passenger will be left behind apart from the ones that I'm going to leave behind. Right. Let's, let's back up slightly and then uh, open the, the, the dory carriagey things. Come on, brakes. Do the braking. There we go. There you go. Doors are open. I feel fine. And I better put it forward, didn't I? Otherwise, that's going to be an issue. Right, doors are closed. Okay, let's now go to Dinting. A disco? Is it 1974 all over again? Actually, got quite a nice sound to it. On the outside. That's a lot of train lines. Look at that lot. Oh dear hell. Hope I go down the right one. Oh, yeah, it's all houses now. Hey, we're having had all this used to now we'll add all this used to be train lines. Now look. We got a Tesco's and IKEA. In a Nissan dealership. Uh, there might be one of those things there. Or a Hyundai dealership, as our American cousins would say. It's Hyundai. <laughs> I am only 23. Right, we got set. Oh, we got a 75 limit. I was going to see what she would do because it's she. Uh, but now we've got to go back down to 50. Another e electric ride. One can the other way. He's got both his pants up. Hang on a minute. Why have I got? Why have I need? What? Did, there was some words in there. Why? No, I still can't do it. Um. Why? Have, okay. Why have I only got one of my pants up? If I, is there a control for my second pants? Mark a light. 
Imagine it'd be quite a big control. Intro lights, put those on. Cab light. I don't need that really. So is yeah, is that what's that? That's the horny button. And that looks a bit ominous. Ominous minimus. 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 Uh Pantograph front both rear. Hang on. Both. Aha! There we go. We got them both up now. Not that it's making any difference at all. Well, that other train had both up. That's why I put both of mine up. It does look a bit odd, though, doesn't it? Both up. I'm just going to go with... Uh, to the rear one up. It looks better. Right, so we've got 5.54 miles. Uh, hi, Owen. Uh, to uh, the place. Dinting. I do like that. You may have guessed. I can't press the button. There it is. So we are flat out doing 40 miles in an hour. Oh no, we're speeding up now. That's fine. We're in no rush. It's only Sheffield. I've been to Sheffield. Don't think I've been to Sheffield. I've been to Manchester either. Manchester. Yeah, it's quite an incline. Oh, we've got 50 coming up. Been to Ma been to Man Airport. Is that wishful thinking there, Crispy? Okay, so stopping is going to be interesting because, as we saw last time, it doesn't do that. Um, so I'm going to have to slow it down like at least a mile before we actually come to a stop. Oh, we've got 50 coming up here. I'm guessing as we go over a bridge or something. Why, why would I do that? Surely that would hinder progress. panicked then, saw a station and thought uh oh, are we supposed to be doing a stopping thing oh and I want to stop, press the emergency stop button mm, I don't think that's the way you're supposed to do it I'm liking the look and feel of this it does sort of feel like it's Oh, oh god, old. So it's certainly seeing a steam train coming the other way. We haven't seen many trains though, have we? I wasn't around in the bloody 50s. Jesus. Yeah, accelerating isn't the uh, isn't the thing this thing does. Oh, that was quite cool. Was that around in the fifties? No, he's sixty, so he was born in nineteen sixty-two. Right, 75 limit. So what have we got? We got Dinting, go via Dinting up Main, uh, stop at Hadfield, 
Uh, I'll pick up passengers from Hadfield, stop at Crowden, go via Dunford Bridge, pick up pas passengers from Penis Tone, um, and uh, then stop at Sheffield. Who's 70? Don't imagine there are a lot of people out there that are. Oh, I'm really liking this already. I wish there were opening windows on the thing, but I suppose 2012 when this route came out, there wasn't really a thing in train sim. Am I 70? Jesus Christ, no. How old do you not think I am? Definitely a lot of uh, wow. That's uh, a lot of sidings down there. Twenty-eight. Ah, eh, close. Twenty-three. We'll let you have that one. I'm just slow it down way before the station. As Thomas pulled slowly into the station. Oh, I'm undecided, by the way. You are your age times by two, and then divide that by two. Okay. Um, last night's stream. I don't know whether it should go on YouTube or not. I'm not sure. For anyone who was here last night. No, you're not wrong, but that's just simple maths, isn't it? Right, this time we're not going to overshoot the station. Maybe. Due into Dinting at 8.30. Our ETA is 8... What? 9.30 even. So we're running six minutes late already. How is that a thing? It's all bloody uphill. My train's too slow. That's what it is. What if this bridge is still here? Is a Dinting du viaduct? I'm guessing it's called a viaduct. Is a Dinting viaduct still there? Being really to call that six minutes. Uh, your gums continued to grow though, didn't they? After you're dead, and all that. Right, let's try the braking thing this time. Oh no, because then you start decomposing, but your gums do still grow, I think. Very, very slowly, we arrive at Dinting. There we go. Yay! Most of the train is on the platform as well. Your hair and nails do, indeed. See so if you have any. What, nails? You'll enjoy savoury pies. Now with more meat. Okay. 
peppermint and spearmint chewing gum. Oh dear, I thought things were going too well. It looks like trouble up ahead. There may be trouble ahead. Right, go vi I'm going backwards. Listen, backwards. The backwards is happening. The, ba the backwards is happening. We're going forwards. We're okay. Right, it's so got to go via Dinting up Main. What's happened then? I really like the audio. I know it was the wrong way. I'm now going the right way. I really wish the audio was loud. That's the thing. I really wish the audio was louder in here. That's why I'm staying outside. Am I sure it's the right way? Yes, because it's down here on the thing. Look, and it's getting closer. Don't, don't do that. There was a, a, a split second there where I was like, uh. uh tomorrow night, by the way. Uh, first look Thursday. A lot of thought went into that. Uh, YouTuber's life. Two. Haven't played the first one. No idea what to do. What's going to be going on? So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Friday night, I, I, mm, I maybe some transport tycoon. Saturday lunchtime, more trains. Uh, we're going to be playing Train Sim World Two on console. Uh, just before Train Sim World Three comes out. Uh, Saturday night breakfast, and uh, Sunday afternoon on our new look and very large farm. Don't quite know why I was going that slowly coming out of there. Exactly, Crispy. Hang on, have I got a stop at Hadfield? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, hang on. When it's Train Team Mod 3 coming out. Uh, 6th of September. I am hoping to be able to bring it to you. Well, I'll certainly bring it to you before then. Depends when I'm allowed to show you. Alright, we have to stop at Hadfield. Hi, Len. Airing on the side of the, the cautions. Sounds like I've been banned from my PC. Well, no, it's just certain things I can only show after certain times. Right. Let's do the stopping thing into uh, Hadfield, maybe. Watershed be a shed full of water and if it's a waterproof shed yes even though dovetail is showing everything exactly exactly I do like that Hadfield was that for tit whistle and Hollingworth. That's some places. Turns out the coal train was delayed by the signalman issuing him instructions. There's been a derailment just the other side of Crowden. So at some point we're going to be rerouted onto the goods line. Going going to slow us down, but there we are. Not much we can do about it. Make up time later. Tit whistle? Is it tit whistle? Tint whistle, not tit whistle. Tint whistle and Hollingworth. Tint. Tint. Hang on, I was going backwards again. Bear with me. Now we're going forwards again. Right, I got to stop in four of them uh, mile things. I really wish it was noisier inside. Ah. 
That's got a real electric hum to it though, outside. Oh, I need to do more old stuff. Who comes up with these names? There's obviously a reason for it. Someone had a whistle that was a certain colour, so it was tinted. Wheel slip? Really? Okay. Someone had a tinted whistle. Indeed. Yeah, it's definitely not the most rapid of trains, is it? Have we got one of those things saying, how fast can this thing go? Nope. Powerful lass. You know, only because of the wheel slip is she's slow. I do really like it though. Having the double pants up made no difference whatsoever. I'll try it again. It's not going to put twice as much. Well, technically, I suppose. I think it looks odd with two pantographs. I'll take one down again. There you go. Yeah, the motor's kind of any more power. There's only so much current running through the line. I don't know why I have. Would you have the trailing one or the leading one? It's always been the one at the back, isn't it? So the trailing one going this way, if it's going that way, you'd have the... Well, then the trailing one. But these things have got two, look. Why has that one got two up? It's got a brake car into that one. That was a long one. Okay, so we've got to stop at Crowden, 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 the place, the Crowden, in uh, three of the miles. Then it's uh, go via Dunford Bridge, pick up passengers from Penis Tone, uh, and then, where the hell's Sheffield? So Nick Sheffield. Why is it all the way over there? Uh, then we've got Sheffield all the way over there. the size of your train it's how you use it well they're all roughly the same size it's just how much power they put out hey I'm a fan of uh, slow though and this certainly fits that bill Imagine doing the uh, the freighty one up this hill. What hope would you have? That coal train going the other way uh, was coming downhill. Oh, so you do have both up. Okay, that one's got both up. In that case, I'll shove it up. There you go. Yes, yeah, so we're only pulling five passenger carriages. Imagine coming up uphill with this thing for the coal. Blimey. No need to rush these things. Eh, got plenty of time. It's all good. Oh crap, we got to stop in 1.5 miles. Must remember to do that. Do 
which is interesting with this thing because brakes no 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 it doesn't doesn't do the braking Yeah, I think the other scenarios of this are just this train. So there was one that mentioned a class 37 that I don't have. Uh, so I can't do that. Yeah, so there's another one coming down with freight. I always find it, I don't know, I find it a bit odd looking. Um, when uh, you see an electric train pulling freight. It just feels a bit I don't know, it feels a bit weird for me. There's ones for the 08 shunter. Ooh. Oh, I could do that. I do like a little shunt. That's what we saw at the beginning, pulling uh, some carriages into the thing. The Manchester London Road. Uh, well, not older than my grandparents would have been, but, you know. I forget, my dad was born in 1927. So, you know. Right. We are stopping in Crowden. Crowden, Crowden. If, well, providing, of course, we can actually stop. Yes, I think you've set your language as, uh, as German there, Crispy. Oh, there's a bit of scenery around here, though. So they've never been to Manchester or Sheffield. So you've gone a bit by then, have you? Right, we will stop at Crowden. Oh, we did do that. I didn't tell if you opened the doors. Just stop there. Okay, I'll stop there then. Fine, be like that. I'll give you a hoot. Was oh, this a broken down train up here or something? There was a reason we were stopping here. Goodness, the problems are really piling up today. There is a report of an intermittent signal at the Dunford end of Woodhead Tunnel. Ooh, tunnel. They're trying to fix it, but if you notice it at red, proceed at caution. Right, here is the crossover to the goods line. Uh, entering and exiting is 15 mile an hour, so be careful. So go via Dunford Bridge in five miles. Okay, this is getting interesting now then. you like that motor noise. That's very pleasant. Right, it's so 15 here. Well, yeah, here. we have got to cross over onto that line. Hopefully cross over onto that line. I was going to crash into that train. Hope we're okay. There's some water there. Hello, water. And yes, I know it's still more coloured. Um, because, you know, one day... Uh, hi, I'm well. Alright, 14 mile an hour. And then we get a 50. Yeah, we'll see if we can get one uh, after we've done this scenario. We'll see if we can do one with a shunter. As long as it isn't going to be shunting thing, things. Oh, 50.
Actually, that sounds quite pleasant. Yeah, I actually really like the look of the train. Okay, Crispy, I'll have a look after the stream. Um, right, so we've got to go via Dunford Bridge, then pick up passengers from Penis Tone, uh, and then we've got Sheffield. So at some point we've got this Woodhead Tunnel. where that is in relation to where we are. It's a very... Hang on. That's a very narrow... That's a very narrow door. You couldn't have a sort of train... train-eating pie driver? No. A pie-eating... There was... I know what I meant. Uh, you couldn't have a, like a pie-eating train driver, could you? Because they'd never get in the little door. That is a tiny little door. Tiny. Uh, hi, Mama. Just use the window. He's climbing out the window. So we got to keep her right. Was that a yellow? That was a red, wasn't it? Yellow, green. That's the one. There were some. There were some colours there. Um, because at some point we're going to get the uh, the red that they mentioned. I've got to do the proceeding of the cautions with. No, we're okay. This thing definitely isn't rapid. Who knew it was all uphill between Manchester and Sheffield? Speeding? Oh crap! Oh yeah! Wow! Yeah, there was some speeding there. I, well, it didn't warn me of the 15, did it? Um, excuse me. Oh, now we get a 70, you scumbag game. Okay, I'm guessing this is the Woodhead Tunnel, but it said there's going to be a red light. Yeah, but it didn't come up on the on the, the liney thing down there to the, do the 15 thing. So I lost some points then. That's no good, is it? Because I'm always in a plus on points on this. That's quite a long one. As tunnels go, that is definitely a long one. I, sh I should have looked ahead. You should have told me. I'm blaming you. You're dealing with an Ed. Oh, dear. I see a silhouette in the distance. I reckon that's another train. Hi, uh, Gary. We are sort of underground. Someone's nicked his carriages. Can someone stop him? Tell him someone's nicked his carriages. This is definitely a long tunnel. So 2.27 miles to the Dunford Bridge, 8.26 miles to the Penis Tone, uh, and round here somewhere, 21 miles from Sheffield. That's why there'll be a red, well for that guy's abandoned carriages. This is definitely long, as tunnels go. It is quite a lengthy one. Three miles long. That's quite lengthy. And uh, I don't think so, train spotter. Especially as we're flat out at 45 miles an hour. And it's yeah, a little bit of a gradient, I suppose, going up. That's why this thing's struggling. 
be interesting to try this with a, a full thing of thing of, wait there well hang on we'll, we'll try that again take two it'd be interesting to try this with a full train of coal wagons so I was attempting to say it didn't quite happen that way good thing though with editing no one will ever see the mistake I think well, we'll see what there is scenario-wise. Well, the fact that we might not even get this first scenario done <laughs> by the time we end. It was only supposed to be a 55-minute scenario. Our ETA is 10.26. We've got another 25 minutes yet of this 55-minute scenario, and I've been streaming for 47 minutes. And that's without the fact we're going to be late I'm already running about six or seven minutes behind <laughs> so this 55 minute scenario could end up being like an hour and a half yeah it was just at 55 oh crap oh crap oh crap hang on I was doing a speeding thing here Okay, we're out the tunnel. That's good. Those chats must have got on the case and fixed it. All right. Signal should be okay from this point on, but as usual, be careful. No, I think they would have done it knowing how much the delay would cause. Right, so we're out of the tunnel, on our way uh, slightly downhill now towards Penis Tone. I know, I know. No one's going to write anything in the comments because no one to get this far. It's fine. It's like no, if if last night's stream goes on YouTube, no one will watch it long enough to hear me swear. Hey, hi, hello, howdy. Hi, Ponte Boy. That's, um... Okay, that's where the sky changes then. Tom Scott. What, on the tunnel? I don't know. No, you just watching videos about penises. You got confused. Uh, the darkness of Yorkshire. It's like, it's like look, behind us, yep, yeah, blue sky there, not some blue sky there. Blue sky there, not some blue sky there. So we've got to stop in four and a half miles, which could be interesting. I'm really liking this train. It seems to be on the edge of the dome. What was that TV series where people were in a dome? Was it called The Dome? Where season one was really good and then season two, it just got weird. Was that, was that The Dome? Twelve hours of work in almost 30 degrees. Blimey. I was at work for nearly 10 hours. Three point eight five miles. I, I do really like the sparking off the wires. It's the border between Yorkshire and Yorkshire. 
I was in York. Well, that's this weird, isn't it? I was in Yorkshire last night on the uh, Omsies. There's a nightclub in Birmingham called the Dome, and then it got renamed to Dome Two. A lot of thought went into that one. There you go. You've got a better memory than me. I can't remember the stuff I recorded a year ago, let alone what someone else did. I can't remember the stuff I recorded a week ago. Surely you didn't watch it back in 2016. Like six years ago, you were like three. Or have you just gone back through Tom Scott's catalogue and watched all his old film? Which in fairness, his, his videos are about six minutes. So it wouldn't take long to go back and watch all his content. I do like Tom Scott. I've been enjoying um, the new um, technical difficulties as well. Yeah, no problem, Pontevoy. Right, slowing it down. I spent 22 minutes yesterday. Um, yesterday, over day release, watching Matt from the technical difficulties um, make a clay pot in real time. It was really, really <laughs> enjoyable to watch. The ones with a deadly ice machine. Uh, the Zamboni. Yeah. See if we can slow this down to penis tone. Yes, I know I'm four. I really like in this line. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, the one they took on a river. That's a bridge. That's definitely a bridge. That's quite... Is that a railway bridge? How long does it take to watch 676 minute videos? So 670 times 6. It's got an easy equation to do, isn't it? Three thousand and thirty-five plus another uh, three thousand one hundred minutes, some like of that. Someone tell me the actual answer. 4,020. Oh, I was saying 900 out. That ain't bad. Uh, thank you very much, Pontevoy. Cheap trips from Manchester. Good to know. Oh, that's far too much of the zooming. 
Uh, hang on, wrong button. I went to press tab then. I have got a black thing, trapped it in a drawer. Isn't penis tone, I know I'm saying it wrong, uh, famous for its obelisk. I like Tom Scott, I like his content. Don't think I could watch it for three days non-stop. I've been watching, ended up on the Jimmy Carr YouTube channel last night. Uh, not many passengers getting off at Penis Tone, so we've saved a bit of time there. Try and get into Sheffield Victoria as close to 10.14 as you can, but no breaking the speed limit. Hang on. So we've got 13 miles to do and five minutes to do it in. No, we haven't. Hang on, we do it 10.26. 15 minutes to do it in. 17 minutes to do it. My math's gone. 17 minutes, 13 miles? Why did I get five minutes from? I don't know. I was thinking then. A novelisk. Very good. They should rename it. I've, I've, hang on, I've zoomed in too much now. There we go. It did say 10.14. Yeah, that's what I was getting on. Yeah, it did. That's what I got the five minutes for, from. And then I looked at the thing down here that said we're due in at 10.26. So yeah, so it was. Five minutes to do 13 miles. It lied. You lie, game. You lie. That's a mighty erection. That is. Look at it. It's a great signal box. No one's going to get this far on YouTube. It'll be fine. Right, so 13 miles to Sheffield. We're not going to get there in four minutes with uh, a 30 mile an hour, then a 50 mile an hour, then a 60 mile an hour speed limit, are we? Oh, now I'm doing the speeding thing. Minus 12,164 of the points. Stop. It's going well. Is it going to be downhill? We're going to apply some brake. Oh, it's a 50 anyway. We're okay. I can touch my little thing. Hang on. Easy. I'm not looking down. I'm looking down in the game. I'm not looking down in... Right, slightly anyway. Let's look. There we go. Right, we've got a 50 limit now. And then we've got a uh, 60. And it wants us to be, it's said to be in Sheffield at 10, 14. 10, 12 and 19 seconds. We're not even going to reach this one. That says 10, 26. Our ETA is 10, 28. So this 55 minute scenario. I reckon we got probably another 15 minutes or so at least before we arrive at Sheffield. No, the brakes aren't on. Because we've been coasting. Right. Let's go, 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 all the way to Sheffield. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, back with uh, another First Look Thursday. Uh, this time, YouTuber's Life 2. I know. I know. Friday night, uh, probably going to be some Transport Tycoon. 
stuff at lunchtime, more trains. We're going to be doing Trains in World 2 on console. Uh, not streamed it before on console. So that'll be on the Xbox. I think we've got an Xbox. Probably on the PlayStation. I did one of those. Um, Saturday night, Wreckfest. And Sunday afternoon on our new look, very large, improved farm. And then back next week for more things. May be the return of flight next Tuesday. It's a game based on my life as a YouTuber. Uh, it'd be quite a boring game. Improved. Well, hopefully. No pressure there, Crispy. Right, for another very narrow looking tunnel. YouTube has a game. Well, it was a second one. Apparently, there was a first one. Yeah, I know. But we've got a bit of interest in the Discord now. People wanted to join the farm. So, uh, hopefully, a bit more. Intro I just said this, and I. Hopefully, a few more people joining will sort of encourage us to do a bit more. I think this is the fastest we've gone on this route so far. I am definitely impressed by my horn. ambulance trains coming through. Well, it'd be okay if you got injured somewhere near the railway line. Deep car up main uh, is approaching down here. Exactly. Yeah, if your pants are sparking, then there's definitely something a bit wrong. Hi, Richard. Okay, so we're eight miles from Sheffield, where we're expected to be two minutes ago, according to the blurb that came up. But we're running about two minutes late on the time thing that's down here. Yeah, it should have been a 55 minute scenario that I don't know what the hell's going on, which is normal, really. Ow! Signal to the face. Yeah, impressed with the train, impressed with the line. The fact that this came out 10 years ago it's actually quite cool. Which is does sort of um, bode well for train sim really, doesn't it? The they haven't changed it that much because stuff that was out 10 years ago still runs. How many other games will you be able to, apart from ETS 2, uh, will you be able to add on content that came out 10 years previously? And it just works. Ow! They are because they're newer. It's a you know, it's a newer thing. I don't object to this at all. If the in um, in cab audio was a little bit louder, I'd be this would be top notch for me. I like the fact we've got the wind noise in here, but the fact that you're not hearing the the motor as much as you are from outside. Other than that, it's fine. I, I've never complained about the the graphical quality of Train Sim Classic. 
I like Train Sim World 2. Looking forward to Train Sim World 3. But I think this is still up there as being, if I had to do one sim and one sim only, it would be this. Orty Bridge. Was that Alty Bridge? Is it Orty Bridge and someone's nicked the end? So four miles from Sheffield. So what we want to do then, because this is downhill, isn't it? Auntie Bridge, exactly. We want to do one then that goes from Sheffield. We want to do one that goes the other way. <laughs> it's not a bridge, but a very bad boy. He's not the Messiah. Yeah, so I need to start in Sheffield on the next scenario then and uh, work our way back the other way. I'll not even touch the throttle or the brake, it's just doing its thing. I'm liking the fact that it's set in the 50s. Also, we saw a steam train at the beginning. That's the only one we've seen. Everything else has been... Well, actually, no, apart from that uh, diesel shunter. So we've seen electric, old electric, diesel and steam on the same route. OK, got will slow it down to 30. some brake. Two cent breaks, but brakes aren't good on this. A bit more of the braking. You like the water thingy? Okay. Slowing it down. So 30 round here, then it slows down again to a 15 just as we approach Sheffield. We're actually only going to be running about 30 seconds behind. It's not bad going. Blimey, probably discussion at work about these the other day, the gas collectors. Anyone remember those? They're basically gas storage things. And it, when, they, when the whole thing was up, it was full of gas. And as the gas got used, the whole thing just sunk down again. Had a few of them here in the town where I am. All gone now. Into 
Sheffield we come. People just farted it to take no So the gas that now gets fed straight to your house, it was sent collected in those and then fed from them. But like I used to have well actually in New York a lot of buildings will have water towers on the top to keep the pressure up basically. Sheffield 4, sounds like a football score. Manchester United 2, Sheffield 4. God, who remembers that? Who remembers the results thing? They still do it now? Or like the, the, the typey, ticky typey machine is to, when the football results are being read out. I'm just showing my age now. Um, grandstand, yeah, exactly. used to actually focused on the like the printer thing and you saw that the, the scores printing out in front of you well, I should imagine he's probably dead that's probably 30 years ago and I'm only 23 so I was seven years before I was born okay 15 Coming up, which I might slow down for. Hold a shot two. Buffalo Bill shot one. Who's on first? Right, into Sheffield we come. Sheffield in the 1950s. That was a really cool route. But we ain't done yet. We'll do another one. Maybe not all of another one if we end up as late as we are on this one, but we'll do another one. Sheffield Victoria Station. Cool train. I really like that. If they're going to stop the train, what's what's going on here? Some, some stopping would be quite quite nice, really. With the, with the stopping, some some of the stopping would be quite good. There we go. I am impressed with the horn. Uh-oh. We seem to have fallen through the ground. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. It would be nice if we had the opening, you know, the opening window things. Would have been quite nice. Right, so we wait for people to get on and do the boarding thing and getting off and do the onboarding thing. five o'clock somewhere. Fortunately the derailment wasn't too bad and I gather they already have the passengers on the way to Sheffield. Luckily you managed to make up some time which will come in handy for the driver taking the train through to Lincoln. Well done driver. It's me. I got a well done. Aye good boy. Uh, right so that was the, that one. We will uh, do some of the scrolling thing if I can remember how the alphabet works. Do you, the T is the letter I'm looking for. Wood headline. Uh, that one we just did? Yeah, that's one we just did, was that one. So yeah, the class 37, I can't do. Uh, so we have to do the class 76 again. We want to go the other way, don't we? Uh, 
happy hour and Prince happy hour. This song shows how I feel and shit's right there. So that's in rain though. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking what have we got on standard. Let's have a look on the standard thing. The wood headline, the wood headline. That's rain. Oh, we could try that, couldn't we? A oh, snow. That's going to be dark at 27 minutes past whatever we call it is. Should we try it? Let's try it. Let's see if it's light or not. Why not? We'll, we'll give it a go. What's what's the worst that can happen? It'll be fine. That's quite. That's quite moody. Uh oh god, we're pulling freight as well. Okay, put some lights on. Uh, reverser. We'll go all the way to start with. Alright, breaks into running. It's going well. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're okay. long coal train as well. It just doesn't look great. That's really whited out in it. might not look like that. Really? It wasn't right. No. Melder. It's been a melder. Yeah, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that because it's just a freight one as well. Um, I want to go up that hill out of Sheffield. That's what I wanted to do. Um, where was it? The wood headline. Extraordinary run from Manchester to Sheffield. So you think trouble lies ahead? Well, that's that's you know, tropical West. Pet penis stone. Stormy in summer. I could do. It's coal train. We we'll do um we'll do coal then in the uh in the electrified one. We'll see what happens with this. It'll be fine, he says. Robbie Coltrane, exactly. Pet penis, exactly. Uh I'm driver pain. You probably are. I'm giving you a check right to get you. Make sure you know the route. We have 500 tons there, which should be within the ability of two locomotives. Any more than that, and we will want a pilot and another banking loco. Bear in mind, we have another coal train going up the branch before us, so don't go so fast that you can't stop. You only have the fitted wagon brakes and the brake van to assist you, so you have limited brake authority. In short, keep your speed down. Right, off we go. Really? 
Okay. Uh, so we got, oh, I see. So we got a, well, that's, that hasn't got his pants up. Why, how can it, oh, that's me. Yeah, that hasn't got his pants up either. He's actually got to press the pants button. Is that going to put his pants up now? Ah, there we go. Okay, pants are up. Oh, it's raining. Let's put the whippers on. Uh, right, into forward. Come on. So we've got two locos and a brake car. Oh god, we got wheel slip. Okay, it won't go above uh, 30, 37 percent then. So where are we going? Go via Stafford Crossing. Go via West Coast Down Main. Stop at Ox Recap. Guessing this is going to take a while. It's definitely a cool route. This. I think it'd be really cool to put some other trains on it to create your own routes. Actually, I bet people have put on scenarios for this. So I really like the fact that it's set in the fifties. Hang on, is that red? Oh crap, 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 oh crap. Yeah, we we can't we can't stop. The the stopping thing isn't happening. Thankfully we're not on a career scenario. So we'll just pretend we didn't see that. And we'll just keep going. He did say not to go too fast. I didn't expect us to come to a red light straight out of the sidings. Have I tried to use the brakes? I did try and use the brakes. It's a heavy old train. Use the brake van. But that's only going to do so much, isn't it? Ah, be right. We don't need to stop. I'm now very worried what this next signal is going to be, though. If that one was red, technically there should be another. There's another train on the same block as me. That'd be fine. That'd be all right, honestly. No, no, it'll, it'll be, it'll be fine. There's no need to worry. Just don't check the newspaper headlines tomorrow morning for major train derailment outside Sheffield. Here's that next signal. And if that's also red, we're screwed, basically. Oh, that got light and dark. Well, that's a yellow. So that next one, I reckon, is going to be red. So we definitely... Well, it said we were following... It said we were following a uh, another train, didn't it? So I reckon I'm going to try and do the slowing down thing, ready for this next signal up here. <laughs> Brakes are literally on uh, 
Max. Well, Max is, but the brakes are on him. Wow, this thing just don't want to stop, does it? It's gone green now, though, isn't it? Typical. Just as I'm about to... Ooh, that would have been so close. Yeah, that would have been so close. So now we definitely got to keep our eye on the signals. But wow, yeah, brakes on this. It did say they were bad, but even as a passenger carriage, they were bad. That's a thing. That was that was definitely a thing. That was that was a thing happened there. Oh, yeah, I didn't like the fact I went to the rear train, did it? Oops. Bear with me, caller. We will just um, resume service. We'll see if there's another passenger one. <laughs> I think I've got that. The OBB 4746 City Jet thing. I think I've been given that. I'll have to do that next week. Uh, right, let's see if there is... Um, Forgotten the alphabet. The other widget. There we are. Um, let's see how's rain. Take some empties back from Jews and Upsidings to Wait Yard. We're not going to be able to do all of that. So there's no more passenger runs. That's the only passenger run. Would it be ultimately she has rain? Actually, no, that is a no, that is a passenger one. Okay, I'm gonna do a passenger one. Well, a bit of a passenger one. Sheffield, Victoria. Oh, I asked over at the other end. That's what you wanted. Good to see it was planned. And I'm putting pants up. There we go. Right, so this is Sheffield. Oh, sorry, Wadsley, Wadsley Bridge, Alty Bridge, Wortley. Well, we've got to go as far as Penis Tone, haven't we? Crowden, and then Hadfield. So Hadfield's uh, an hour away. So we'll see if we can get as far as Penis Town. I bet if you go to that place, all the kids have abused every sign that says welcome to Peniston. I wonder if Dick Shooter lives there. Just go non-stop. Not non-stop then, non-stop.
so spelling. Exactly. Oh, see, that's the 37 I haven't got. We could have done that. Because that just sounds so good. Right, so we'll go as far as uh, Wadley Bridge. But it, it didn't show up in the picture of the train thing when I wanted to do it. I could have done that. We could have had some sexy diesels. Uh, I don't know if it's the same 37, actually. Diesels in penis tone. Right, so we're leaving Sheffield behind us. So this is going to be the uphill bit. It shouldn't be too bad. We're only four carriages this time. Yeah, tomorrow night, by the way, if you're around. Um, something different and potentially is going to be a bit weird uh, my first look at uh, youtubers life 2 on first look thursday uh not to any gameplay of it not played the first one so that's going to be interesting i think from half past six tomorrow and back on friday with some transport tycoon saturday lunchtime more trains in the form of train sim world 2 on console which i've not streamed before and Saturday night wreckfest. Okay, so we've got our 70 approaching down here, and we're going up that incline that we obviously came down going the other way. We'll see how the time goes. We'll get ourselves as far as Peniston. Peniston. beans oh, I don't think we think where where hang on not that I don't think we've got to worry about speeding is what I was attempting to go for I can't do the words words are difficult really must do that reinstall I've got I've got to do it I'm absolutely I'll just do it at the weekend it probably won't take long actually I might just start by verifying the game files because if something's broken it will just redo it wouldn't it right Wadsley Bridge is in 0.93 of a me break early as well. Because you know what this thing's like for doing the stopping thing. It doesn't. I'm really impressed with the route though. See my first time on it this evening. Uh, I, I do genuinely really like it. I'd be interested to try something diesel up and down it. Maybe do a, a full stopping service. And say so I do like the fact that it is set in the 1950s. I might have to redo the... Um, so there's the Riviera line set in the 1950s as well, which I, I like. 
might have to do some of that. Although I've got that um, city jet thing. Uh, the OBB thing. I might do that next week. I definitely overslowed. Right, in we come into Wadsley. I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that completely wrong as well. Wadsley Bridge. Where we were due at 10.50 and ETA 10.51. Minute late. Fine. It's fine. Yeah, this thing not got great brakes. Doors are open. Some of the passengers managed to get off. Yeah, most of them managed to get off. It's all right. Could have gone a bit further up the thing, but it's okay. It's all right. It'll be grand. Taste the quality. Thin sliced. Why are people appearing out of the walls? It's like the reverse of platform nine and three quarters. Do they come out of the wall? Alti Bridge. Is it? Hang on. I got plus points for that. What's going on? The world's broken. How do I end up in plus points? I can't be right, surely. Around the world, good mornings begin with a sheer. Oh, shave. Shave, definitely shave. Right, carry on up the hill towards Alti Bridge. Then it's uh, Wortley, and then we'll uh, we'll certainly get as far as Penniston before we stop. Yeah, a really good route. I don't know how much it is. Um, I should imagine fairly inexpensive. Nine ninety nine. Eh, not bad. I bet it's on the, uh, the, the, the uh, some the other place. Probably quite cheap. It's been out for ten years. I think if it was like a fiver, I'd be like going, yeah, go and buy it. The other, the other could be could be that place. Oh. Case steam it is then. Yeah, it'd be one that I'd probably put in my uh, wish list and uh, wait to see if it comes up on sale. I should imagine this be quite. I think I bought it in a sale actually, which is why I picked it up for like a couple of quid. So it's one of those I'd certainly recommend getting when it's on sale. Quite an interesting route. Okay, Alti Bridge is coming up. It's our next station stop. Oh, I do like that sparking. Lowest in 2020 at 299. I don't know when I bought this.
Right. Can we do the stopping thing with the whole train on the platform? Wow, that sky got bright. Blimey, McCharlie. Slowing it down. Go slower, mother. Yep, Sky doesn't know what it wants to do there. Right, let's see if we can get all the train on the platform this time. Oh, we did that. Look at that, aren't we clever? I just want to be horny all the time. Hang on, that sounded a bit wrong. So Wortley is in four miles. Peniston is in eight miles. That's probably about right. Time we get there. Okay, Wortley is in four miles. It's three ninety nine at summer sale. Yeah, that's probably it then. Yeah, so next week I'll look at the um, the OBB City Jet. So that's going to be in uh, Germany. Is it Germany or is it Austria? It's, well, yeah, it's somewhere over there. It's, it's abroad. I don't know where it's based. Oh, that's some wheel slip. Get a taste of something modern with state-of-the-art OBB 4744 City Jet. With thanks to the efforts of Skyhook Games and Railworks Austria comes to life... Yeah, I didn't read right, did it? With thanks to the efforts of Skyhook Games and Railworks Austria... And Railworks... Austria comes to life in train simulator in fully authentic fashion. They missed a, some punctuation out there. So Austria then uh, will be next week. Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll edit that back out. Hang on, I'll wait a minute. I'm just going to do the editing thing for YouTube. Next week, uh, we're going to be in the OBB uh, 4744 City Jet, uh, which is uh, Austrian. Uh, so we'll be taking some trips in Austria next week. There you go. See, YouTube will never know. With careful editing, no one will ever know. <coughs> Sorry, what? We would do that. Right, uphill. Uh, three miles to go to Wortley. Wortley. It's probably pronounced uh, completely differently in uh, a Yorkshire accent. Twain. You are the strangest of them all, Crispy. So, flat out, uphill, 35 miles an hour. Certainly rapid, this thing. But I actually really like it. For a, a second earlier, I was thinking, how long would it take in this to do Paddington's Penzance? Could you imagine it? That coming up, by the way, uh, four months time, four months and a few days. I'm going to do it before Christmas this year, rather between Christmas and New Year. Um, will be my long train sim stream. First year we did uh, Paddington to Penzance in a pacer, stopping at every single stop. 
Year two, we did Edinburgh to London in a pacer, stopping at every single stop. Last year, we did Penzance to Paddington in a pacer, stopping at all the major stops. This year, we're doing London to Edinburgh in a pacer, stopping at the major stops. So that's going to be uh, coming up in about four months' time when it's all Christmassy. Next year, I'm not planning that far ahead. I barely planned for this year. Steamy train coming the other way. What happened to the whole stopping Omsi thing? Have I planned another Omsi stream? Did I say next, last night? I said it three weeks, maybe? Next Tuesday is going to be flight. The Tuesday after will be as dusk falls. Potentially the Tuesday after that will be as dusk falls. Then maybe Omsi, we'll see. Right, 1.3 miles to Wortley. Yeah, I will do it again at some point. It's just not going to be a, a weekly thing or maybe even a fortnightly thing. So I'm just going to back it off. I just, I want to drop it from Omsi on a Monday, but I don't know what to replace it with. That's the problem. Drums in Omsi on a Monday? Drums it, drop it from YouTube on Omsi Monday. I, I, I can't do the words today. Right, Wortley is coming up. I'm definitely looking forward to completing As Dusk Falls. So that uh, part two goes on YouTube this Friday. Uh, part three, the bit that hasn't been streamed, goes on YouTube next Friday. Uh, and then I'll be streaming it the Tuesday after. So hopefully those people interested in the storyline will watch the YouTube video. So at least they're up to speed by the stream. It's only 40 minutes, 39 minutes. It's quite an interesting bit of storyline as well. And that's something, again, over Christmas, if I run out of things to do, I would like to go back and do um, As Dusk Falls again in one go from start to finish. Yeah, I've started to really like long YouTube videos now. Uh, yeah, six hour stream. Right, and we come to Wortley. No, it wasn't. It, it did feel a bit weird, me choosing which path to go down, because I got so used to doing it on stream. I said I, I did record it because I didn't know how long it was going to be. I thought it might have been like a 10 minute thing. And then after I recorded it, I was like, ah, okay. And I, but I can't go back. If I would have saved it at the end of the stream, I could have gone back and I would have just carried on on stream. So, stream from 6 to midnight. I used to do beyond then. I used to be streaming from probably 5, 6 p.m. to like 1, 1 2 a.m. It was quite regular. Most weekends I do a five or six hour trucking stream back in the day. Two hours at the moment is my sweet spot. I can do that. Farming I can cope with a little bit longer. There will be some longer ones over Christmas because quite frankly I'll be bored. Um, but in the evenings two hours is enough because 
I literally come in from work, eat, come up here, stream. After stream, then I, I get like an hour and a half or so to chill out before I go to bed. Yeah, maybe this year's the year you might actually get a door, Crispy. You never know. So what you should do, really, is you should start talking later, and then when you get complaints that your talking keeps other people up, well, get me a door then. That'd solve that, wouldn't it? Pick up a door for like 20 quid in B&Q. And hanging a door is, well, it's not easy, but... Right, so three point seven miles to uh, Peniston. Because then it's Crowden and Hadfield, which is twenty miles away over there. over a door. The thing is, you've already got the frame. It's only a case of measuring the the um, the gap inside your door frame. So get a tape measure. Measure the widest part on the inside of your door frame, uh, this side of the door stops, um, and take three mil off each side. So you have a three mil gap between the frame and the door. That's the size of door you need. The doors are normally metrics. So you have like 838 mil, 736 mil, um, standard sizes. You might need to trim the top and the bottom, but the actual getting the door, easy. Right, we are 2.68 miles from Peniston. Where we will then end. Yeah, really enjoyable route this one. That's a good point, Crispy. Just because, well, no, see what you could do if you got a door that was roughly the right size, even if you know you put up all this time with having no door, you could just put the door in the hole and then just lift it out when you wanted to go out the room. Even if it's not hung, if it's filling the hole, it's going to stop the sound, it's going to give you some privacy. Pile stuff up against the inside of it to keep it, you know, secure when you're having some alone time. Perfect. I think I linked, no one's going to watch this far on YouTube, uh, I think I linked in um, uh, Discord a while back uh, a brilliant skit by uh, Billy Connolly on uh, what to do when caught masturbating, which is quite amusing. Billy Connolly, of course, a comedy genius. So 
30 limit. And then approaching the stop. Yeah, what a really, really enjoyable route. I wasn't sure what to expect from this, um, but instantly sort of leapt in and spotted this train. And okay, the audio is quiet inside the cab, which is why I haven't been inside the cab. Um, but uh, what a really, really good route. half a mile to go so this route does carry on but we will end at Peniston because the name's funny what other reason is there it's all the reason you need it's got a funny name it's good enough for me I'm now going far too slowly though Oh, yeah, if this got to Train Sim World with the incline, with the old stock, so the fact that you could have steam, diesel and electric on the same route, with the wet out, with the way that their stuff runs now, I think this would be awesome. If this was in Train Sim World 3 slash 4. Yeah, because we've got diesel coming towards us now, look. That just sounds so good. <laughs> I'm going incredibly slowly. Oh yeah, so there's that other aqueduct thing that we saw over there. So why don't you actually do a route that takes you round there and over that? Or what, are we going to go round there? No, we're going this way. Damn it. I want to go round there, over the aqueduct thing. Just because. Is that included? I don't know if there's a route that goes over there. Hang on, let's have a look at the thing. Um, hang on. Yeah, so I'm coming in there. Port. Denby Dale. So yeah, there is something over there. It's a port. Oh, God. Just an AI spawner. Oh! You could probably take a train down there though if you wanted to, if you change the points. The line would just end. Be the end of the world as we know it. You'll enjoy it, savour it. Pies. Now more meat. Is there a Hang on, what's the No. No, no, no. Bear with me, call it. Eight. That's what I was trying to think of. Do 
Yeah, not really going to post that in the Discord at all. Thumbnail. No, I've already got a thumbnail. Uh, there we go then. Uh, we will end there. Uh, back to the thing. Yeah, what a really good route for something I hadn't done before. Uh, actually, uh, very, very impressed by that. Um, can definitely recommend it. Certainly one I'd, I'd put on your wish list. Um, so when it comes on sale, I don't know when the next sale will be. Autumn sale at some point, I should imagine. Um, so when it comes on sale, certainly worth uh, picking up. Because uh, it'll be quite interesting to drive a variety of stuff down there. I'm not still trying to scroll down a bit to the other widget. There we go. Uh, yeah, so the Woodhead line is the one that we've just been doing. Uh, and really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, didn't do the diesel one, though. It says, no, cannot do that. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we will end there. Well, I'll end there. You lot can just sit there and do what you like. Um, the next stream, then, is back uh, tomorrow night for First Look Thursday. Uh, where I'm going to be playing YouTuber's Life 2. Uh, Friday night, some Transport Tycoon. Uh, I think just two of us for Transport Tycoon on Friday. Um, Saturday, lunchtime, Train Sim World 2 on console. Not streamed it before on console. Uh, thought I'd do that quickly before Train Sim World 3 comes out in two weeks' time. Uh, Saturday night, some Wreckfest. Sunday afternoon on our new look, hopefully improved, uh, bigger farm. Uh, and they're back next week with more things, including a return of flight next Tuesday. Um so uh there we go thanks to you lot in chat then uh, for keeping me company uh for the last uh, couple of hours and to this lot as well if the thing always oh, working so thanks to uh ponta boy for the bits and to crispy uh nightbot and shorty for doing uh, no moderation at all that was easy wasn't it uh, thank you very very much indeed uh, i will be back then uh for some youtubers life too it's going to be weird, isn't it? Uh, tomorrow night at half past six. Until then, if you have been. Thanks very much for watching.